Greetings to everybody tuning in sometime in the future. Uh, I welcome you here, regardless of uh, how m much of my previous content you've seen. Perhaps you've, you're a completely new viewer, or, or you've watched a couple of episodes before. That's all right. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you're here, and uh, I, I want to welcome you for some casual hardcore Minecraft in the prologue world, which is the world before the beginning. Before the beginning, I, I still am working towards actually um, trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing with this channel and what the heck am I doing with, with my life in general. And this, this is supposed to be kind of a, uh, a silly recording of um, a record of uh, what, I'm, what I'm going through, of this, this process, of this initialization process, which is, is, has been taking a long time. And I do admit to that. It's, it's already like, I'm already, I've already made like 70-something videos, and I'm still, I'm still feeling like I'm, I'm just getting started. Or, or rather, perhaps I'm just kind of stuck. I'm kind of just stuck in the beginning, right? Um, but that, that's all right. That's all right. That's that's kind of that's why this this world is called the prologue world. The series is called the prologue world, because I, I'm working on it. I'm I'm getting there, and I, it is kind of taking me a while to to um to to uh, to make uh, substantial progress. I, mean, I still haven't really. I don't feel like I've gotten there yet. I feel like it's 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 taking me a, a longer than I expected. All right, because I do as as I've said many times. I do intend to eventually eventually pivot towards uh, doing something more serious with this channel because so far it hasn't really been serious at all and it might stay that way for for another while actually I, i'm not sure how soon i'm getting to the, the serious stuff but I've, I've been thinking i mean i i really feel like i should be getting there uh, like right now i feel like i should should already be there so i'm kind of a little frustrated with myself actually but I, anyways i need to start chopping trees just to, so that i'm doing something uh while i'm recording this i don't really need anything from from my chest or anything. I think I'm good to go. Yeah, I'm good to go. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go chop some wood so that I'm doing something while I'm talking to you. Uh, I'm prepared to actually record three full days of Minecraft now because I'm fully caught up now. Is that a skeleton? No, that's a birch tree. I'm fully caught up. Oh, there's another black sheep there. I'm fully caught up now with um, with the, the trying to synchronize the episode count with the day count. So now, now we're back to. Uh, you, you should be able to multiply the, the number of episodes by the number of days, to uh, to to figure out how far along I am in the game. So we should actually be getting to to day 50 within this episode, and that is the train that's going by. So um. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool, and that, that actually actually puts puts some pressure on me to I mean b more pressure on me. I guess there's always pressure on me to not die. I'm really trying very hard to not die in this game, as I'm also trying to um, keep a whole bunch of things in my head at the same time, trying to figure out what I'm saying. Oh, I need another. I have a second shield. No, I I, I accidentally I, I pressed wrong buttons. I need to have that shield equipped. By the way, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, so um, this episode, it, it kind of took me a while to actually get around to recording this episode. I'm a, I'm a few days late, I guess, but I, I've warned you guys that I might be taking longer, so I don't really feel like I'm, um, I don't, I don't feel like that's necessarily a bad thing, especially since I've, I've warned you, you've been warned that it, it, I might be taking my sweet time getting around to making these episodes, and that's because I, I was having a hard time um, actually figuring out what I'm going to talk about in this episode. And I actually have, I have like three index cards prepared for myself because <laughs> I changed my mind multiple times and I kept, I kept de de deciding to just take another day to think about it, to, to you know, to, I, need, I need to take longer to, to figure out what I'm doing because I'm not ready yet, not ready yet, still not ready yet. And, uh, and still, I'm not really feeling like I've, I've figured it out. I'm still feeling like, well, this, this episode is just going to be another very haphazard, very incoherent episode. That's not really going to be about anything in particular. Uh, it's going to it's going to be about multiple things, I guess I should say. But I, I'm not really sure exactly how it's going to go, exactly what I'm going to talk about. Because I have there's multiple things that I want to I want to mention. There's multiple things that oh, it's it's I need to get back to the house. It's uh, almost night. I, need, I really need to get back to the house. Um, there's multiple things that I need to talk about because I need to address certain things. There's certain things that I'm. Um, that I really need to address. I just said that. Um, mainly, let me let me just go back to safety before I start talking about because I need to think. I need to think, and I don't want to think while I'm 
just chilling out there in the middle of the night, waiting for things to come ambush me. Ah, uh, I'm gonna gonna hang out in my bedroom. Heck, let's go up to the pack. Let's go up to the rooftop. Let's chill on the rooftop and think about what to say. Ah. <sighs> I'm so glad that I uh, this is the location that I selected. It's just such a such an excellent location. I love to just watch the watch the sunset and the, the moonrise. I'm very very pleased with it, and I, I'm I'm going to be uh, I, I I'm going to be trying extra hard to make sure I, I survive because I re I really really don't want to um, have to start over. Well, I'm I'm not going. To, I'm not planning on starting over. I'm I'm planning to just reincarnate myself this time. If even if I do do actually perish in this world for the first time, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna call it reincarnated hardcore Minecraft after that happens. So, no worries, no worries. Don't I shouldn't be worried about that. But still, it matters to me. It still matters to me because I still haven't died yet. I still managed to survive so far. And so, we're still on the on on track to potentially get to actually actually get to day 100 in hardcore Minecraft. So, uh, all right. What was I saying? Um, incoherent rambling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incoherent rambling. That's the topic of today's episode. Because there's multiple things that I, I had in mind to to say. And I had to change my mind multiple times, and um, basically, I, I, I was, I've been trying to, to pivot a little more towards the philosophical substance, right, of this channel. And the next thing I was going to talk about was, was uh, Diogenes. Diogenes is the cynic, which is kind of the, a philosophical figure, an actual philosophical figure, um, that I'm, is probably the guy that I'm most familiar with uh, among all of uh, the other, because I, I really looked into it, because he, he was kind of an inspiring figure to me. Um, of uh, the Diogenes of uh, Sinope, I think is the, the, his full, his full, um, what he's called, and he, he is known to be, to um, to be a, a cynic in the in the ancient sense, right? The, the the term cynic doesn't really mean the same thing anymore. In the ancient sense, it it actually meant it was closer to what we mean by skepticism, or or even also intellectual humility is probably also closer to the to um, what the meaning of the word was, but neither of those these words really are, really do it justice, right? It's not really exactly either of those things, or perhaps it's like a combination of those things. But um, but anyways, I I I decided against it. I decided that I actually I can't I I don't want to make the episode about that because even though it's he's the guy that I'm most familiar with among all the other philosophers. I'm still, I'm st I still feel like I still got the sense that I, I know, I, I, ha I don't have a comprehensive understanding of it. I, I would need to do more research to really feel like I'm, I'm doing the subject justice. But um, the reason I wanted to talk about him was because he, he was kind of the, my probably my biggest, my most inspiring um, figure in philosophy, in ancient philosophy, because I, I, I really do, I sympathize with the, with the sentiment that he was representing. He ended up being a beggar, being a mendicant, uh, living the, the mendicant lifestyle. Because, and here's the thing, he was, uh, the reason that he was, he's known to be a cynic, and what, what cynicism was kind of about in, the, in those ancient times, was it was a, uh, about, uh, about questioning social norms. So it, it was about questioning, questioning everything. So I, I, I guess by those, by that standard, you, you can call Socrates a cynic, but... Um, that's that's kind of that was the, that's kind of the gist of what it was about. It was about um, questioning the the uh, the normal way of life. Like, what is really what what should we like? Are the things that ex are expected of us really the right thing, the right way to live? And the reason I want to talk about this is because there was there's a a big um, a big begging question. <laughs> Uh, no pun intended there. There's a begging question with that, in that uh, regard. Because if, if Diogenes believed in questioning the social norms, why does that necessarily imply a, a mendicant lifestyle of a beggar? Like, why do, why do you need to be, uh, you know, not, not have any possessions and live in a, in a barrel to, to question social norms? Like, why is that the, the trajectory that you'd... <laughs> that, why is that the outcome? Right, so I was going to talk about that because I have some theories about that. I have to, I, and, uh, um, and you know, my, my theory is that he, he couldn't find an, a, an honest man. He couldn't find anybody that he, that he could collaborate with to the extent that he could actually make a living. Because you ha you have to be able to to work with people to to make a living, right? And he couldn't. There, he probably ran into the problem of there being too much corruption for him to um, 
be able to uh, to abide by his principles. All right, I I, sh- I, I want to be doing stuff while I'm talking. I, I don't I didn't really mean to just carry carry it away talking in the middle of the night. I just wanted to spend a minute um, hanging out here at night just to gather my thoughts. But I'm I'm bas- I've basically gathered my thoughts now. I'm just rambling now. So I guess I should go ahead and sleep and um, go back to the trees and, and try to and hope that nothing that I don't die. I have to be extremely cautious when I do that, right? Because there's still mobs that are that are um, that haven't despawned yet. If you're doing this, so all right, I'm I'm gonna s- stop talking for a second while, while I go back out there and just just to uh, look around myself and make sure that I'm doing this safely. Uh, there were a couple of creepers here, but I think they despawned. I think I'm good. I think I'm safe. Yeah, that tree needs to go down too, but uh, I want to go back for those saplings. There should be some saplings left over here. No creepers. Oh, maybe they, all, maybe they all disappeared already. Did I take longer than five minutes talking about stuff? I thought you had like five minutes to talk to. I guess I took longer than five minutes. Well, um, as time is going faster than, than I wish it did, I need, all right, let, let's try this again. Let's, 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 I want to do a better job now collecting the, sa- the saplings. I really don't like losing those precious saplings. But um, that's what I get. That's what I get for not having, not having clear plans. I tried. I tried having clear plans for this channel, and that kind of uh, fell through, fell apart. I have, like, now, now I'm just going to incoherently talk about, like, three or four things. But, yeah, Diogenes is the cynic. So the, uh, my theory for why he ended up going with the, the mendicant lifestyle it was is because he couldn't find any anybody that that he could work with to enable him to to actually make money in an honest manner because one of the stories about Diogenes was that he was he's known to carry a lamp around in broad daylight and then when people would ask him what the heck he's doing he would say that he's he's looking for an honest man and the word honest in that um in that story is actually kind of an inference of the translators. In the in the original, he just he just says he's looking for a man, as as if to apply, like he's looking for a real man, as if to imply that most of the men, on you know on the surface, aren't really real men, and it it takes carrying a a torch uh, a um, a lantern around in broad daylight to find a man. But the, the problem with that story is. There is no, there isn't really any explanation as to how would that help him. Like, why would carrying a, a lantern around actually help him find, seek out a real man? It doesn't really make sense. And that part of the story is just, is just kind of unexplained. And I think that what, what we're supposed to infer from that, what I infer from that, my theory about the reason why it's unexplained is that nobody took him up on it. Nobody asked him the begging question of how the hell does that supposed to help you find a real man? I think everybody just um, immediately scoffed at him and kept walking and uh, and was merely you know and just felt kind of kind of uh, disrespected by by his suggestion that they weren't a real man and just didn't really even want to uh, to ask him like what why well what what's with the lantern why that still doesn't make sense dude can you explain yourself a little further nobody said that to him and and thus like he he couldn't really find anybody to to even that that kind of that did the bait right i think that the whole lantern thing was actually just a bait to, to try to get people to talk to him about this about what what he what he considers to be um, an aspect of you know, b- being a real man that he's looking for what kind of a person he's looking for like nobody asked him these questions people just kept walking and I think that that he was he would have been he would probably but probably would have happened he would have probably been like yeah yeah you're right the lantern doesn't really help me at all with the uh, looking at but I'm just I was just looking for somebody to um, that would want to talk to me <laughs> about this stuff and he's probably he, there's also some some of the parts some of the things that I've read about Diogenes uh, were uh, we're talking about how he, he believed in in being honest about things he believed in. So he, he he valued he valued transparency. Uh, he valued uh, honest effort, honest lab- making an honest labor, uh, making an honest li- effort with things, and not to sort of not. He, he would he would frown on on 
any kind of swindling going on, right? So it, it mattered. I think that that's the reason why he ended up being a mendicant, because he could not find uh, anybody that he, he, he could work with that, to him, didn't, that didn't strike him as some kind of a corrupt swindler. And that is the reason. That's my personal theory uh, as to why... As, as to why he w ended up just being a beggar okay but I, I don't the thing is I, I don't feel like I've, I've sufficiently studied this story enough to really give it justice to really present it in an adequate manner for you guys you know, to, to absorb it properly to really to um, to, to, to actually act as if I, I have any kind of uh, as if there's any value, I guess, in this, in my, in what I'm trying to say, because I, you know, I, I, this is, I'm, I'm so, I'm so amateurish in my approach to philosophy that I, I haven't actually done the necessary research that I feel is necessary to really be doing this, to really um, be doing this well, right? Like, so I, I, and that's kind of what, that's what, that's the reason why I, I decided I'm not going to make this all about Diogenes, and I'm going to have to revisit this concept, this topic, later on when I do further research on it. Because I, I want to, if I do, when I do end up kind of pivoting this channel towards a more, like, philosophical um, s strand of kind of content, I, I want to be taking it more seriously, right? And that's kind of what I want to talk about in this, uh, today. And, uh, and that is my, my personal frustration with myself, with not actually having managed to follow through with, uh, with, the, with pursuing the, my own vision for this channel. I just I haven't actually managed to follow through with that. And that's, that's been very frustrating for me. Uh, do I want a torch right there? Not really. I don't think that's a good spot for a torch. I'm going to put a torch there. I think that's a good spot. And that's been very frustrating for me. And I want to, I really want to uh, address that. I, w I want to do a better job with this, all right? I want to get more serious about this. And sure, sure, I, I, I mean, I've been kind of trying to keep this casual. This is, I mean, it is casual, hardcore Minecraft. And the, the, the whole premise of the channel is that we're, we're not really, I'm not really trying to take myself seriously here. I'm not really, I'm doing, I'm com totally winging it. I'm not really, I'm not editing anything, I'm not doing, I'm not trying to put serious effort into this. But still, nevertheless, I, I want to, I want to present, I want to do, uh, I want to, I want to start taking it more seriously. Especially, like, if, if I actually, if I actually come around to doing what I initially intended to, to do with this channel in the long run, if that ever actually happens, I'm going to have to spend a longer time doing my research and... Uh, preparing better for these these episodes, even though I'm I'm totally winging it, even though I'm totally, even though I'm just improvising here, well, I still that still requires some preparation. I need I need to know I need to have a better plan for what am I going to talk about, and I, I want these to be well-rounded episodes. And the problem is that that's going to take me longer than a day or even two days and I, I don't want it to become a tedious activity either so I just I want to take oh, basically what I'm getting around to is I anticipate that I'm, I'm going to have to take a longer time in between episodes like two or three days isn't enough like it, it might end up that I might end up taking like a week to get around to um, to recording these episodes and that's because I, I want to be taking it more seriously and at the same time I, I don't want to I don't want it to feel like some kind of like work. I don't want it to feel like work. I want it to feel like it's something that I, I genuinely like to do. I'm doing it because I like to do it because so I, I don't want to I don't want to restrict myself to like a strict schedule because I, th I think that wouldn't be satisfying. I want to I want to keep this satisfying both for myself and for my viewers. So so the the rate the pace at which I'm going to be making these is, might might change it. It might be a long time before I get to my next episode because I, I I just I want to start taking this more seriously, even though even though that that means that it's going to take a longer time to actually d get to day 100. We're still on day like on day 50. This is day 50. I mean we're we're gonna I'm gonna get to day 50. I think it's still actually technically day 49, or actually 48, 48. No, 48 days played. So I think we're on day 49 currently. 
and I think I have this day and then one more day to go. No, no, this is, I think, this this should be day 50. This should be day 50 currently. We're on, next day is going to be day 51, and then I'm going to end the episode with 51 days played. If, I, if I'm doing my math right, if I've been keeping track of my days accurately, that's what, that's what we should see. Where is that big tree? I keep losing track of the big tree that I'm trying to go around. I'm trying to chop, make my way over to this. This is the big tree. I'm trying to make my way over to this big tree. So I, I still have more wood to chop, which is great, which is great, because I, I have, I'm trying to talk about things, and it's hard to, it's hard to do, to do things that aren't just, yeah, that aren't just repetitive, mindless activity, like chopping wood, while, while I'm trying to talk about stuff at the same time. So, I'm glad that I'm just in the middle of chopping, of this process of chopping wood, because I, I have things to, to say. Let's collect these sticks. I don't want any of these saplings I'm going to waste. I like to hoard my saplings. They are very dear and valuable to me. I want to get all of this, as much of the saplings as I can before heading back to the house. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. That's good now. Gotta run before anything starts spawning. I guess I'm not. I'm. I'm uh, I'll be all right if I have to fight some mobs. I'm going to be fine. I got my shield. I only have. I. I should. You know. After you get to a certain point in the game, you should start carrying two shields, especially if you go into caves, because like you. You don't. You never know how how much shield damage you might have to take. You might end up having to take. But uh, I'm still. Uh, this shield still has plenty of shield health left in it, so I'm. St I'm still feeling all right about it. All right. Uh, oh, I gotta. I have some stacks to drop off. Let's drop off some of this, some of these wood stacks. I'm gonna end up with so much wood, which is great. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's what I'm. That's the point. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get. Um, all of. I'm trying to gather wood. I might end up with so much wood that I can just build my next structure just out of straight up oak logs without even converting them to planks. I'm not sure. No, I, I, I would rather convert them to planks just to have more material to work with because I, I, I might end up making a pretty big structure with my next build. I'm not sure. I haven't really uh, planned very much ahead. I haven't planned that far ahead. I'm not sure what, what my next structure is going to be like. I, I'm going to need to build something out of that, uh, out of all of that, um, out of the, uh, what's it called? The calcite. The calcite on top of the mountains. I'm going to, I want to do something with the calcite. I want to get to that. I want to, I need to not die. <laughs> before before I get to that, because I, I would really like to come around to doing that. Uh, I kind of want some dirt on me. Well, I could just flatten out some landscape to get the dirt. Now let's get some, let's just carry some dirt around because it, just in case I don't actually get around to that. I want there's there was some spots there that I wanted to fill in. Whew. So yeah, incoherent rambling. Let's go back to the incoherent rambling. Uh, oops. There we go. That's how you do it. So yeah, this is, uh, this it's gonna take me a, a bit longer to get around to the beginning, or uh, I'm 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 gonna take it's gonna take I'm gonna take longer in between episodes, and frankly I I also I, I don't want to I'm not trying to say that I'm just gonna be diligently working while you know while I'm taking this taking my time getting getting to the next episode because I, I might not be I'm also kind of uh, I've been kind of I've been getting carried away spending too much time uh, playing this a uh, certain video game uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, against the storm and so I uh, Minecraft isn't the only game that I play but uh, there's really only one other one currently and that's against the storm I try I try to keep my my video gaming down to just uh, a few like a couple two or three games because I, I don't I don't like to because I feel like life is brief and you can't really like I, I like to play games comprehensively and trying to get as much out of them as as uh, as I can, because I, I think that's 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 the most enjoyable way of playing games. Like I want to, I, I like to, I take a comprehensive approach to games, generally. But uh, but then you you encounter games that are just bigger than life, where it's like it's not really possible to to experience everything that there is to to experience for in that game. Uh, Minecraft is in particular. Like you will never experience everything because like in Minecraft is indefinite. There is no end to it. You can just play. Minecraft could be the the only game that you ever play, and you could just spend your lifetime playing Minecraft, nothing but Minecraft, and you will still not run out of things to do in Minecraft. It's that much. It's the the ultimate sandbox experience, right? 
But there's this one other game that's really been... That's been captivating my attention lately. I love the suspense, mu the suspenseful music there. That was nice. And then I butchered it by, <laughs> by uh, uh, being all gaffy in my in my the way I talk. Much like Brandon. <laughs> yeah, I would not make a good president whatsoever. <laughs> not even a good. I would not be a good YouTuber. Like I, I'm so I'm so not even trying to to uh, shoot for trying to be like a. A popular YouTuber. I, I like. I, I don't care for YouTube notoriety. I'm, I'm. I'm trying to just find a few people that are interested in in trying to connect with me. All right. So if I, if I find like two or three people that that actively want to, you know, interact with me, and and actively watch this this stuff that I put out, I, I would, that would make me very. That's all I really want. But um. But I also like. I can't expect people to really be following this if I'm just going to be rambling incoherently in every episode. Or, or I don't know, maybe maybe that's that's a thing. Maybe that's something that you know, people actually would relate to. And I should just I should just embrace it and be totally all right with that. And uh, anyways, I have one more day left. I have one more day left. I was I was going to say a little bit more about uh, Against the Storm. So this this game that I've been spending way too much time playing on. I actually feel bad about how how much time I'm spending on it because it it, it feels like I'm squandering my time because I, I have this amazing opportunity currently to not have to work. I'm currently not having to work, which is uh, I, like I, it's not a I'm, it's not going to last. I'm going to eventually have to go back to work, uh, and and I still I still have some time left. But I'm uh, I'm already like two months. I'm already two months into not having to work, and I just feel like I haven't accomplished anything in, in this during this time. I mean, I've been working on my health. I've been trying to recover from chronic illness. And that is like, I should give myself some credit for that. But uh, th other than that, like, I still feel like I should be, I should be doing so much more with my time than just spending, you know, an entire days playing a video game. And I, I wanted to talk a little bit about that, about um, this sense, sense, sense of uh, squandering your time on, vid on gaming. Because I also don't really see it as a, as an addiction. Like it's it's easy to say, like, bro, you have your that's that's signs that you you're addicted to it. Like if you're if it's if it's bothering you how much time you're spending on it, and you're you're not really you're, you're and you're trying and you've been trying to avoid it, and you keep coming back to it anyways. That's a, that's a, that's not a good sign. And no, it's not a good sign. But I still don't don't feel like it's it's an addiction, because it also w w video games th they're you're getting somewhere with them, right? It's not just the same thing over and over. There, there is, there is um, progression, right? And and with uh, with certain with the kind of games that I typically play, what I, the the effect, the reason why I end up binging on them is is actually, for, from what I can tell, all right. This is just a speculation, all right. This, my my personal speculation about myself, about how I, about my own psychology. What I think is going on with with me and video games is when I kind of take the liberty to just binge on them like that, just making sure there's no skeletons or freaking creepers around me while I'm doing this. Cause I'm in a very dangerous spot. I will definitely die. If I fall. Well, probably not actually. It's not 24 blocks. It takes 24 blocks to kill you from fall damage. No skeletons. Another hoe. My backup hoe. What I think is going on with me uh, with video games when I do, when I do go on these multiple day long binges is uh, I'm actually rushing I'm actually rushing myself to get to an adequate stopping point to get to a good satisfying stopping point so I'm actually rushing to towards obtaining a sense of satiation with the game and and this is obtainable like I've had this happen be before with other games the the one the game that has been that that's, that probably takes the the record for me in that regard is freaking uh, Timberborn I call it timber crack because it's literally it's crack Timberborn like d do not touch that game unless you just have weeks upon weeks of free time available to just because that game just sucked me in where like for like I, I was off I had a vacation I was off from work for a while and I just spent like the entire week just binging on Timberborn, like just day after day, the like, entire day. I would wake up 
and play Timberborn until it was time to go to sleep, and then I wake up and want to just get, get right back into it. It was extre extremely addicting. But in the end, I did actually finally you know, get to a point in the game where I felt completely satiated with it, where I feel, feel like felt like I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish with the game, and then it became it was no problem um, putting it to rest, and it was no problem uh, letting go of it and moving on. And really, I haven't I haven't tried to I haven't gotten back into it since then, and I, I don't really intend to because it's still it's still in development. I, I don't think I would want to return to it, and at least until the 1.0 release. But I'm thinking even after the 1.0 release, I'm not sure if I'm coming back to that game just because it's just incredibly addicting and time consuming. And I don't really want to spend that much time on a, on a video game um, because I, there's, there's more th important things in life. I, I, really need to, I really need to get on track with this philosophy stuff. I have a book to write. What I really should be doing with my time is working on this book on, on Tribe Revival. I keep talking about it, about getting around to the beginning, about trying to uh, get started on it, and I still have it. And I've been very frustrated with myself about not having actually made much progress in that, t towards that, in that direction, since uh, since uh, quitting my job. Because I've been, I, I really, it's I don't have any good excuse for that at this point. So. I'm, uh, I've been kind of binging on this video game trying to get to <laughs> an adequate stopping point so that I can let go of it and, and stop, stop the, and you know, quit the binge and actually move on to doing the research that I need to be doing for this book that I want to write. And then I'm going to have more substance to talk to you guys about in this channel too because that also has to do with what I want to do with this channel. Like I also want to, want to be able to talk about that kind of stuff on this in this in these episodes so so I, that's another reason I really <laughs> need to move on from against the storm but I just wanted to to briefly mention how excellently excellently designed and well balanced that game is it is just such an excellent excellent game and it's not the most addicting game I've ever played it's not timber crack because it does give you good it does present you with better stopping points because it, 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 you kind of you play. It's a it's like a roguelite uh, city builder, which is the first of its kind, as far as I can tell. But you basically you build a village, to and then you you um, to a certain extent, to a certain point at which you you've you've kind of created a village that's you've demonstrated your capacity to be a good uh, uh, viceroy, viceroy as the as the game calls calls you. You're basically like the leader of this village, right? The mayor of the village, so to speak. And it's yeah, it's just a, it's just a real-time strategy game, and it's incredibly complex. It's very complex, and it has an extremely well-designed difficulty ramp. Like it has like 25 difficulty uh, uh, settings, I guess, and it kind of ramps you. Like you have to play through them one by one to unlock the next step. And I still haven't actually unlocked all of them. I'm going, um, following through with the, the um, they call them prestige, prestige uh, class. Wait, pres prestige settings? I'm not sure what the prestige points. I'm not, I forget what the difficulty setting, or the what they're actually what's the right term for that? But um, right, I, I prestige something. I forget. It's just something has, that has to do with prestige. Okay, but. <laughs> It just goes Prestige 1, Prestige 2, Prestige 3, up to Prestige 20. Prestige 20 is the, the highest difficulty setting. And I, I'm still on Prestige 12. I'm on, on, the, on the 13th village in the playthrough. But I've managed to survive. i managed to actually survive so far in the, with every village in this playthrough. In previous, this isn't the first, the first playthrough that I started on. And previously, I ended up failing a few times, and I was so bummed out about, about having failed that I just wanted to start over. Uh, but this time so far, I haven't I haven't actually lost a village yet. Hello, beautiful sheep. I have no idea what the freaking thumbnail is going to be for this episode. I'm a bit worried about it because I don't I do not have a good thumbnail. I'm, I'm, I might just have to fly around and free cam with the free cam mod just to get a good picture of myself, perhaps just hanging out in the in the cabin. Maybe maybe that's what I'll do. We are around some dangerous places over here. 
but I've, I've basically gotten where I wanted to get get to. I, I've made it to. Let, let's go ahead and finish this tree. And then that's, that's, I think that's all the tree chopping I'm going to do in this episode. I, I need to save that sheep. All right, next episode, I'm, I'm going to build my build the sheep pen. Well, there's still there's still more trees to chop around that tree. Like, I, I want to actually chop a few more trees. But that, that, that's only going to take me, like, maybe one or... All right, fine. I'm probably going to spend one more freaking full episode just chopping trees. <laughs> yeah, fine. Because I, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rush into things if it, it doesn't feel safe. Like, it, there's still more, like, I want to clear out more space around this tree before I build the sheep pen around this tree. Let's gather these precious saplings. So yeah, it's it's just a fantastically well designed, well balanced game, and I really I do highly recommend it. Even though it's it's it is somewhat addicting, but it's not like I, I'm getting to. I'm trying to get to a good stopping place for me would just be a satisfying like I want to I want a nice satisfying playthrough. I want to feel like I've I've achieved I've built a very satisfying uh, village because a lot of the times at first like before you until you get really good at it, it it's a kind of a very haphazard experience. I'm taking the liberty here to do some dangerous things on my way back. I really needed that that apple. All right, but it's kind of a haphazard experience, and it, once you get to the end of the village, it's it's still sometimes it doesn't feel like it was a very satisfying. Um, run very satisfying village and then it just ma makes you want to hop right back into the next village and try to do a better job in the next village even though like you you won like you you beat that that, that scenario it still it leaves you with a sense of um, not having sa not having fully satiated your uh, d desire for like a satisfying experience right and then that keeps you coming back to it for for uh, another you know to to do to do the next village and then the next village and then the next village. So, but this current the current um, s scenario that I'm playing, I've I've already beat the game. I beat the the village. I've be beat that scenario, and then the game allows you to kind of keep playing anyways. Into the uh, like you can you can just you don't have to actually move on to the next village. You can just keep playing the current village uh, for as long as you like, and that's kind of where I'm at. Like right, like I just want to see how much further I can go with this village because you can just con continue to expand the village and continue to grow the village and that's kind of and then it, it gives you the the time to just make it pretty make it really pretty I like how pretty the game is so that's what I'm doing that and I'm pretty sure like once I once I've had uh, spent enough time with this current village I'm, I'm gonna have finally reached that point of satiation of uh, being completely satisfied with uh, with the game for to to be able to let go of it to where and then ideally like I want to only play it once a month, I want to I want to uh, cut it back to only playing it like because it takes me like a full day to get through one of these villages so I would need and I can't be doing that every day or even once a week like I, I this this I, this game like if I am to actually play this game in the long run it needs to be a once a month type of thing. Right, so that that's kind of what I, the next step for me with my personal development, and I'm also I, I do like I, I do, don't really want to make this channel um, become uh, all about be, become a you know a, a vlog a personal vlog that just documents my my personal development, although that it, that it has been kind of a significant portion of it, and I'm kind of rolling with that, but um, that's really just from a lack of of uh, more. Sophistic, of more uh, valuable things, I guess to say, because I, I don't really consider that to be the 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 point of the channel, right? I mean, it's, that's kind of been a big part of it, but that's only because I'm I'm just taking so so long to actually get around to to fulfilling the the, the initial vision, the concept, the concept of the channel as, as I had intended initially. Like I'm, I'm just I'm taking way too long actually getting around to it. And I've been kind of frustrated with myself in that regard. I don't really want to. It's not really how I want this to go. Like I, I really want to get around to actually talking to you guys about uh, the the philosophical concepts that I that I that I um, that I have in mind. All right, let's let's go into free cam mode. Except that I don't I don't want to be holding I don't want to be holding a freaking birch log while I'm doing that. Let's not be doing that. All right, and yeah, let's let's just look up in the sky. 
and uh, just fly around and freak him. Is this a good thumbnail about uh, incoherent rambling? Maybe not. I don't know. What's a good thumbnail for that? Maybe uh, some animals, chickens. Perhaps I need I need like a picture of some chickens. But I don't I don't even know where the closest chickens are. There aren't really any, any chickens around me. So yeah, I'm trying to wind down. I mean, wind down my against the storm experience to uh, to just to free up sp space, just to free up time in in my day to actually get to the the work that I need to do, the, re the amount of research that I need to do, I need to get serious about writing this book, guys. Because if I don't manage to even get started, I mean, I, I have more time in my hands, but I, it's, it's, I'm, I'm taking way too long getting around to, to getting started on it. I really need to at least get started on it and feel like I'm on a roll. And then hopefully I'll get kind of carried away just writing it as some kind of a madman that's just obsessed with <laughs> with with getting this book done right so I, that's kind of I, I would really like to get there i, I want to see that happen i want to and i and i really I like i i've i've got to make it happen if i'm i've i'm, I'm i feel very passionate like i want to i want to i want to really indulge in my passion for this because so far so far it's just been a plan it's just been something that i've been planning to do that i haven't even started on and that's and that's a problem that's a problem. I really need to get started on things. And because of that, it might take me a while. It might take me a while. Um, let's look out of this window, too. Or maybe out of, over here on the porch. Now, I might get shot by a skeleton if I hang out on the porch. Um, if, let's hang out on the, on, the, on the rooftop for a minute. I, what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. I'm losing my train of thought. Did I cover? I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about in this game. Woot. Is this a good thumbnail for incoherent rambling? That's what the episode's going to be called, because I couldn't come up with a better title for it. This isn't a good thumbnail at all for incoherent rambling. I don't know. I don't know what the, what I'm going to do for the thumbnail. I'm looking at the moon, rambling incoherently. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't really make any sense at all. <laughs> Alright, well, I should really bring this episode to a close. And uh, hopefully I'll, I'll uh, figure out some kind of a thumbnail from all of this footage. I'll find something worth worthwhile. But that, that's about it. That's about, I've said everything I wanted to say for this for this episode. Uh, and I really hope that next episode is going to be a little more substantive than this. Um, I really hope that I'll I'll have more things, more interesting things, more captivating things to tell you guys. And I really hope that I, I really need to get started. I need to make it to the beginning. I, I know that this is this world is called the prologue world, right? Where I'm just documenting my my the journey towards the beginning. So I, I can get away with that just because that's that was kind of the the premise, right? So, um, but I also feel like I'm taking longer than anticipated. It's starting to it's starting to get a little frustrating to me, and I really want to actually get into. Um, you know, be, be more, take this, start taking this more seriously than I have been, all right? And um, I, th I, th I think I'll manage to do that. I think that I, I'm, I'm not giving up on this, so don't, don't worry. It might be like a couple of weeks, literally, until the next episode. But don't worry, I will be back, and I'm going to have, I'm going to have more interesting, it's going to be, I'm going to make it more interesting for you when I come back. There's, I'm going to have interesting things to talk about. It's going to be a, a, a little less incoherent than this one, than this episode has been. All right, so please bear with me. Let's. I want to kind of check to see if I'm right about the day count. 49? 49 days played? That's not right. I thought it was going to say 51. We are on episode 17. I'm not sure how that happened, guys. Looks like we're still, like, two days off. Because I, I played through three days today, right? This is the third. Oh, no, it's going to say 50 when I go to sleep. But then I thought it would say 51 days played. I think I thought we've played through 51 days. All right, I don't know. I, I something I must must have miscounted. So I guess I guess we're still kind of one day um, ahead or behind, depending on how you look at it. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look back through the footage and fig figure figure out what the heck is going on. But uh 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sleep and then end the episode because it's it's time it's time to end the episode. It's, it's been a pretty long one because I've spent so much time at night talking to you guys at night. All right. Well, I I think I've I've said everything I wanted to say. I'm pretty happy with how this went, and uh, I just wanted to end this with a gesture of uh, appreciation. Um, thank you guys. Thank you guys very much for bearing with me, and uh, I'll I'll see you next time. All right. Uh, Shadow my fellows. Shadow